Hi and welcome to this episode on adding your customers with invoice and pay. I'm Sharon from Enterprise and in this session we'll look at how to manage your customer information through the company's module. So let's get you started. So if we click here onto companies, so from here you can manage your customers, suppliers, define who maybe are your favourites, add in your customer contacts and in addition to that you can run the aged receivables and aged payables reports. So these are reports that will tell you what your customers owe you and what you owe your suppliers. So let's look at simply adding a customer. So clicking here on the customers tile, click then on new customer. And starting first of all with the customer name. So back in settings, you have the option to auto create your customer code. So in doing so, when you enter the customer name, so it'll take the first three letters of that customer. And then select, so you can see there, it takes the first three letters of the customer for the code. So we're creating customers from the group and the company type automatically defaults to customer. Now fill in the rest of the information. So you can select the salesperson if you've more than one user using the system, enter phone number, email, website, or any notes relevant to your customer. This option down here to place and hold only becomes relevant where maybe you have a dispute with your customer and you want to prevent any further invoices from being added to the system and you can place the account on hold. So scrolling on down here, then we have the option to add your addresses and contacts. Very simply, click on the plus sign here to add addresses. So you can have multiple address types, and that is multiple bill to and ship to addresses that you just select from the drop down list here. So you simply enter in your name and the address and the country details and save. So moving on then to your contacts. Again, you can have multiple contacts. Simply click on the plus sign here where you can enter the contact name. And by entering the first, the full name on the first line here, it will then automatically assign the first name and surname for that user. Select our title, and then we can populate the remainder of the information, such as phone, email, position. And of course, the user is automatically set to active, so they can be selected on a document. And click on Save. Moving along, then we have the Finances and Taxes tab. And this is important because, of course, if you need to assign tax to your invoices and credit notes, it's important that you define the relevant VAT status and VAT codes that apply to your customer here. So first of all, we can assign the payment terms as we would have defined in the settings. So this will be the aging that will, aging that will be assigned to your invoices. So when the invoice will be due to be paid. Again, if any discount percentage just applies, so the VAT ID of the customer, the VAT status, whether they're liable, exempt, and of course the VAT code, so all relevant tax details. You can of course enter some comments in here if relevant to the customer. So let's save the details. So once your customer details have been saved, you can retrieve any of your customers from the list here. And we can see any activity that has taken place against our customer. Primarily, we can see the account balance, any overdue balance, any overdue invoices. We can see the number of invoices, credit notes and payments that have been added for that customer. We can click here on new action to create a new activity. We can also click here, of course, to create new invoices for that customer. On the over screen, overview screen here then as well, we can look at the account aging, 12 month revenue and the value of any open transactions for that customer. Again, in addition, we have a tab here for the bank accounts that you may have signed already to the customer through the settings option and you can add those here. We can also add attachments. So I hope this has helped you identify how to manage your customer information within the company's menu. And if you require any further help, check out the help articles on help.enterprise.com or reach out to support on the chat. Thank you for watching.